The cloud cover really hung tough across much of the Midlands today, and that definitely kept things much cooler as we struggled to even get into the low 50s for afternoon highs. Definitely needed the jacket as we're out and about for your Sunday afternoon, and we're looking at those cool temperatures sticking around, especially for the mornings. You're going to definitely need the heavier jacket each of the next several mornings as we head into the new work week. Does look like we'll slowly start to warm up each and every afternoon and is eventually getting back into the 70s by Thursday, and then we are tracking the chance for some rain moving in by the end of the week on Friday. But let's take a look at those morning lows because that is going to be the biggest thing you're notice for the upcoming work week. You can see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're going to be starting off very close to the freezing mark. So yes, some pretty chilly mornings ahead, even Thursday morning, upper 30s. It's not till Friday morning when some showers move in that we're talking some milder temperatures to get the day started. But as I mentioned, the afternoon temperatures will slowly start to be warming each and every day. Just upper 50s now for our Monday. We think we keep a little bit more of a northerly breeze around, so that keeps us just a touch below average for Monday, but 62 Tuesday, 64 by Thursday, and then there's that 70 degree day on Thursday, Friday 69, and then into next weekend. We're still at least in the mid 60s for afternoon highs, but as mentioned, you can see the cloud cover continues to be out there, but they're gradually beating the clear and we should have clear skies the rest of this evening. Temperatures though right now in the 40s. We have 48 for Columbia and Orangeburg along with Newberry, but 43 degrees for Winsboro, Sumter and Camden. So yes, we'll need that jacket for the rest of our Friday or Sunday night. You can see that cloud cover slowly eroding from west to east, but it is hanging tough and eventually is going to clear out, though, heading into tomorrow. The reason the clouds aren't clearing too fast is we have this area of low pressure just off the Florida coast that's producing plenty of rain that has washed out the Daytona 500 and some of the several other events throughout Florida. As you can see, the rain has just been nonstop for most of the peninsula. But that's why we got the cloud covers and we really haven't cleared up too much. So for the rest of tonight, though, gradually seeing the clouds clear out with temperatures dipping down into those 30s. So a chilly start to our Monday. Do think we keep a few bit of cloud cover around, but we also will have our fair share of sunshine tomorrow. But again, temperatures only getting into the upper 50s for highs. So still a little bit on the cool side as that low still is hanging out there. Kind of gives us that wraparound northerly breeze, which is why temperatures aren't maybe warming up as fast as we expected earlier. But now as that high pressure begins to build in, we'll slowly start to see things warm up with more of that sunshine building across the region for our Tuesday and Wednesday. Even in the Thursday, high pressure still in control, but a few clouds start to move in, but we really will start to get that southerly influence by Thursday getting us close to 70 degrees for an afternoon high and then heading into Friday morning. Here comes our next system, giving us the chance for at least some scattered light rain to get the day started, but the rain quickly pushes off as that front begins to make it out into the Atlantic by Friday afternoon. So we're not talking a ton of rain with this, maybe a quarter to a tenth of an inch of rain. So your 10 day forecast shows those temperatures slowly warming up as the week goes on with more sunshine beginning to develop. So 59 then 62, 64 for your Wednesday and then 70 on Thursday. Thursday looks to be the warmest of the week, but as mentioned, still going to have some chilly mornings to go, and then we are tracking that 40% chance for some showers with our next system come Friday morning.